folks, this is Augie of Your Two Cents, uh, bringing you yet another fragrance review. Today, we are looking at Lay Artisan Parfums Patchouli Patch. I uh, picked this up on eBay. It is a quality bottle, but it had about that much gone, and I jumped at it because it's something I always wanted to get. Uh, this is made, uh, let's see, in 2002. Uh, the nose is behind it, Evelyn Boulanger, and of course... I think it's the only reason I really uh, review the artisans, besides them being exceedingly good quality and uh, off the beaten path. But path, but I do love saying Bertrand de Chavour. So that's the other notes. Anyhow, top notes: caraway, patchouli, musk, star anise. Mid notes: iris, patchouli, osmosis, and white musk. Uh, finally, base: sandalwood, vetiver, cedar. So this is interesting. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. I am not that nuanced of a nose. Uh, you'd have to get, like, uh, Rattle Essence or maybe, uh, you know, seriously, uh, Carlos, uh, you know, the bigger guns to, to sniff this one out, uh, Maximilian Usler. One, you know, patchouli to me is just an interesting note, you know, and I think you can only go, uh, I'm a fan of it, but I'm also kind of like, am I the guy to be able to wear this? To me, it just is always kind of a... Uh, I know that it has certain connotations. You know, I think if you go way, way back, it was used a lot more in female fragrances uh, and, you know, probably an older uh, woman type of smell in a weird way. I mean, I'm talking way back. Probably that generation is gone. But, uh, you know, of course, the hippie era, then you have that, you know, and the, and the heavy smell of patchouli with everything related to it uh, of that uh, 60s, 70s, even 80s, you know, it was kind of a... Uh, you're smoking a lot of weed, you're going to have patchouli on, because I guess it covered it up. So, that's what I always thought. Uh, to me, this is like a bright patchouli, but it's very much a patchouli scent. So, you know, if you're unfamiliar with it, and you don't like patchouli, probably just, you're done. Sorry, thank you for watching. But, there is a lightness to it. I mean, it's still 100% patchouli, but it's like, the other notes do complement it, you know, and... Not that I can specifically pick them out. Maybe it's the musk. It seems to lighten the the the, the composition where it's just not 100% dark, dank, almost a little minty type of patchouli. And uh, it pretty much stays that way. The weird thing is, too, as strong as it comes on, I swear to God, like five or six hours, it seems to kind of just drop off. And it's a skin scent, but, I mean, you really got to get up on it, you know. But I'd even say, like, Probably up to four hours it's projecting, but after that it just seems to kind of give up, <laughs> you know? It's like a somebody just got punched out, you know, in the fragrance uh, battle royal, and uh, they're just out. So, now, what it sort of smells like, and don't uh, go crazy trying to get this, but the you will hear people talking about uh, Gene Arts, and uh, there's a lot of houses sort of associated with Gene Arts. I think... Uh, Nas over there, uh, Toiletarian, uh, reviewed some fragrances, and then I kind of looked them up, and yeah, they're part of the, the arts group, you know, so uh, this is a fragrance that I think I bought for like $7, and now you'll occasionally see it for much more. Uh, you know, I can see the minty kind of patchouli type of thing going on, and I gotta admit, performance is a little better. But I don't think you should buy this for like 60 bucks. I mean, I think there's another house, Reminiscence, who's a big patchouli kind of house. Uh, you know, I'd probably check into those first and see if they have a little better staying power. This one, because it is patchouli, I think you can get it kind of on the cheap. And it is a lay artisan. You know, it's a, it's a quality fragrance. But yes, it does do the drop-off thing, at least on my skin. So, uh, rush out and buy it. I don't know. You know, sample it. Uh... Put down below, you know, what's your favorite patchouli? And, and you know, Giorgio Beverly Hills and uh, Gervonchi Gentleman have a pretty heavy patchouli note. Whatever scent, uh, put them down, uh, even if they're straight patchouli. Uh, and, yeah, I might look into them. Uh, I'm not familiar with the Reminiscence line uh, or the, the house, but, yeah, that always did interest me because it does seem like they're a patchouli type of house. So, information below. I trust you guys and gals to give me some insight on the... Which way to go with this? As far as this one, like I say, not bad. Uh, glad I have it in my collection. Uh, if I didn't have it, 
but still have this one. I'm content. You know, I mean, I've had this pretty much at the beginning of my journey, and, you know, I put a little bit of a dent into it, but, you know, just, it's a little obnoxious. <laughs> I don't know. They're, 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 I guess I have connotations with patchouli. I need to go to therapy. So, anyhow, as usual, there'll be more of these to come. And uh, please, folks, be kind.